Hello, storytellers. It's Storytelling Ron. I'm here to talk about uh, five new directions I have learned uh, recently in, uh, for my players. Because all you Christians out there, Christian RPGers, RP gamers, I'm coming out of the Christian role playing game. It's pretty awesome. Um, and I've had to give these directions to these players. Why? Because they're all actors and they're all new. They've never played a role playing game. So that was really cool. Uh, for me, it's really, it's a really great experience. I'm still doing it. I still just, I just got finished doing a marathon one and we're working on how we're going to release it and all that stuff. But anyway, so, um, I've learned some things now and, and they've affected my normal game mastering, right? Which is people, players, I mean, regular players. And now I really just want to GM this way. So, and it's probably nothing maybe incredibly new to you guys, but I kind of, when I, when I did it and then when it, when it, when it played out, it was way better. Um, I, I felt a way, way better experience. Maybe because they're actors, not because of their acting actors, but because they're, they're there to intentionally, uh, perform a certain way as opposed to a gamer who just wants to play a game. But the truth is, I think we all want to do this. We all want to sit there and act and, and be in part of a performance and, and tell a story and, you know, have fun and adventure. And that is way better in my opinion, in my experience now, than say someone who's min maxing or looking at the stats and trying to create this powerful character. I don't want to play with that anymore. Don't, um, no, out, bye, you know, I'm trying to be, but I don't want to play with people who want to min max and who are looking at the numbers and who are, who are asking me all these things about certain, you know, what, how much they can get for this. I don't, dude, don't want, you know, do that. Don't want to do it. Um, I'm sort of getting, Ugh! I don't want, don't want that in, in my life. Okay. And I'm, and I'm telling you too, as a DM GM, don't, don't accept that from a player. I, I really, I'm kind of like at that point now, don't accept them working their, you know, I don't play, I'm not gonna play D and D anymore. At least not in the, the current iteration and what's going on in the culture. So I'm not, you know, but again, in any role, role playing game, if you've got people working the rules and the numbers, it's not going to be fun. It's just not going to be fun. So here's my rules that I'm doing now, or and I, I would say it's more directing. It's here's my directions now for them and me, uh, when playing these role playing games. Okay. So let's get to it. First one. And you probably already know this, but really you should just say it in session zero is no cell phones, no distractions. Why? Because, you know, think about it. Your, your cell, your phone, smartphone is for what entertainment distractions you want to well, the, this game should be an entertainment for you. It should be a distraction. It should be something you're excited about. And if you're on your phone, it means you're not being creative enough to be part of the game or part of this, this experience. It's like you're it's like you're an actor in a play. Okay. And, this, and you should tell your, not even actors this. This is what you should be telling everyone. It's, it's like you're in a play. Are you, you going to have your cell phone there? Uh, which brings us to the next point. Um. Uh, well, let me stay on this point first and then go to the next part. But remember, you, you're you part of the story. Even when someone else is doing something, you're part of the story. So you should be, always be engaged, always be hearing what's going on, uh, always be paying attention. And I want to do game stuff, game rules and, and problems with games. But I'm not going to go there. Let me just do the basics. Okay, so act and react. So so if a game is too, if the rules are too long, the game is, the, co- the combat is too long, get rid of that game or streamline it. But anyways, and that's another issue. But, um, so part of no, no smartphones is act and react. You want to re- you want to act and react. You don't. Um, so when, when you're acting great, but also when others are acting, you need to react to, to, to what they're saying. And I don't mean, I don't mean interrupt them necessarily, maybe just reactions. It really needs to be a part of the game. When someone is saying something to the D- GM, everyone else should be reacting to them. You know, just, even if no one's looking at you, you should re, you should be for your own enjoyment reacting to what they're saying, because you're literally following. You're, you're being entertained by them. Think of that. When it's not when it's someone else's turn, you're being that's your entertainment. You're watching them. Oh, seeing what they're saying, you know. Um, but you're also kind of playing your role too. When when they're when they're talking to the GM or, or doing their at, you know their attack or whatever it is they're doing, so you gotta be into it. So make sure that you as a player are really acting and reacting to everything that's going on. Even when, when the DMs or GM, you know, says something, describes a scene, you got to be reacting to it. It's really important for your own 
enjoyment, your own entertainment in this. Uh, so my third thing is don't ask about the rules. So I told the actors this, don't ask about the rules because they're all like, you know, don't ask about the rules. And part of that, it also is don't teach people how to play the game, right? Don't tell them how to play the game or how to teach them. This is a sidetrack, by the way, just have, just play and make them play. Cause I'm trust, t- t- I'm telling you, man, as soon as you just make them play a, a role-playing game, they'll get it. You know, I mean, it's slowly, but it's way more fun uh, because you're actually playing as opposed to explaining it to them and everyone's eyes glaze over. Every time I try to explain something to them before we play, their eyes glaze over, you know, uh uh-huh, uh-huh. So just get into the game, you know, as quick as you can, get into the game and start playing it and then you tell them what to hear. I'm getting getting back to this point now. Just say what the character does, okay? Just what do you think your character does? Know the the feeling, the MO, you know, the modus operandi of your character. Know what they want to do and just just describe the action that they do and then let the gm decide the, you know what what you need to roll what number you've got um you know what bonuses you might need to, to do for it what the difficulty whatever let, let the gm decide you just just tell us what you do i run over there and grab the thing and try to climb up and okay stop that's that's as much as you can do in the next few seconds let's roll for that you know that's what the gm will do let the as you as a player just you know tell the players just just describe what you do don't worry about the rules don't worry about don't min max it don't freaking figure out what's the best number and the the just just what is your what do you think your character in this situation is going to do you know they're going to save them run over there and save them they're going to run away they're going to attack whatever just do what you think your character is going to do and have fun and then see what happens and then you know and then based on the dice rolls you got to react accordingly and react accordingly um so the fourth rule then that ties into that third rule of don't ask about the rules is do and, and don't worry about your character stats is do know what gear your character has. That's, that's really uh, important to know your gear, familiarize yourself with whatever gear you get so that, you know, you can use the rope or you have a lantern or you, or you can throw, throw a rock or whatever it is that you have. Just know your gear, be familiar with that. That way you can figure out different ways to using a rope and, and whatever else hook or whatever you, whatever it is that you um, want to use. So just know your gear. Fifth and final thing in this little short video is brevity. Just like this video, I hope. Brevity. So make sure the players know this, the, the actors, the players, whoever you have around the table. Brevity. Let You can do your villainous monologue or heroic monologue, but make it two or three lines. And then let others have their turn. You can argue with each other and argue your point, but stop. Don't. Don't keep going on over and over. Don't repeat yourself because repeating yourself is very annoying. So don't repeat yourself because boy, does that, that drags down, right? Brevity. Okay. Tell the players, bro, just say your stuff and then let someone else talk to take turns. So those are my five basic rules. No, no cell phones, no distractions. Let's focus. This is only a few hours or one hour, two hours, three hours to so focus on what on togetherness and, and on entertainment. Uh, second rule is, uh, act and react. Okay. So act and react all the entire time that you're playing the game. Um, third rule, don't ask about the rules, you know, the, the, the stats and stuff, just, just describe what your character does. Just act out and describe your character. Don't worry about the numbers. You know, you'll get used to the numbers eventually, but let your GM handle that. And originally just, just describe what you do, you know, within a matter of a few seconds, not you know, this and this and up in here and down there. Okay. Um, and then know your gear, be familiar with the gear. That's fourth rule and fifth rule brevity. Okay. So I want to say that as the five new directions I am going with, um, in all of my games and, uh, hope that just hope that helps you as well. No cell phones. Um, so don't act and react. Don't ask about the rules. Know your gear brevity. Let me turn this off. Where is my mouse?